Now that you have got these titles, I want to appeal to you, to point to you one danger. For Uganda as a whole, when the, the owner of the land goes to heaven, God, and, and God calls him or her, then the culture of subdividing the land, fragmentation of the land, is very dangerous for the country. If you have got six acres and uh, God calls you and you say, okay, I am going and I've got, I've got uh, six sons, each one takes uh, one, 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 one. The land disappears. In future, these, these children will have nowhere to cultivate because if the land is too small, it can no longer do some of the crops with the chura. You remember I told you about chura. This is the problem of West Nile now. Now, if you do the chura badly, your family will never get out of poverty. So therefore, here I am really appealing to Ugandans that when we are making wills to our children, let's do what other people in advanced countries learned long ago. This system of dividing land when you are going to heaven or hell is very dangerous for our future. But for me, I propose a compromise. I divide it by shares so that this land, these four acres and all the property there, they are taken as 100%. This is a smart way of keeping the land together, but, but, but dividing for your children. When they grow crops or do activities and earn money, they, they remove the expenditure. Then what remains? They share according to the shares you gave them. So the, this blindness of destroying what the, the parent did uh, is, is, is dangerous, but not necessary even.